what's up mga boss so today since uh, uh, tomorrow will be the first day of school uh, for boss GM it's her first day of school as well and some of the kids uh, are going back to school tomorrow and uh, you're wondering why you're still paying Bill Gates for Microsoft Office so you don't need to be to pay Bill Gates for uh, Microsoft Office right now you just need to sign in sign up and use Microsoft Office for free all right so here you go first you need to have an account with Microsoft okay so go to uh, Microsoft.com So again, if you don't have any account yet with Microsoft, you need to uh, sign in. Okay. So right here, uh, everybody have an account with Microsoft, but in case you don't have an account with Microsoft yet, all you gotta do is click on the uh, sign up option here. There should be a button and just go with the information just fill it in uh, your name address email email that you wanted uh, mine is i've created outlook.com domain and then uh phone number and then just fill in the information and then um, you should be able to get authentication from microsoft through your mobile and just put the code and it should be good okay so once you already have an account, again, go to Microsoft.com and uh, go here and you should be able to sign in, okay? So after you sign in, as you can see, there is uh, Microsoft 365 here. But of course, Bill Gates is asking you to pay for Microsoft 365. So there's a family bundle here for $100 a year, so that's probably uh, 5,000 plus pesos. There's a personal account, which is 79, 69, so it's $70 per year. So it's expensive, right? Especially if you're here living in the Philippines. So again, you don't need to pay Bill Gates for this kind of money. I gotta do is sign up sign in and again we're able to sign in so for us to get those applications all i gotta do is after you create an account go to outlook so here outlookoffice.com and you will be asking to log in using your account so right here my account is really good and everybody sign in with again my email about the willard at outlook.com so click on it click on your account and you were able to you should be able to log in okay so here on the left navigation pane you should see the office applications there's word uh, excel powerpoint or you could also click on the button right here and it should show you those uh, microsoft 365 applications outlook for email teams for chat uh, excel spreadsheet one note if you want to save notes family safety it's a security for your security feature for your family skype for a video call and chatting onedrive is a storage word again for your document powerpoint if you want to sh do presentation to do is to do to do list calendar so all yeah the stuff they could get for free is here uh for microsoft office 365 we don't need to pay bill gates a hundred dollars or seventy dollars a year just for a subscription right so we just try to create a word document right now for example i got a, uh, an assignment so there's a lot of templates here but right now i just choose to uh, use this one uh, blank account uh sorry blank document for example i got um, an assignment so let's go here and type your assignment 
or something and then after that uh all you gotta do is if you want to save it if you want to submit it if you want to print it then save it locally to your computer go here and file and click on save us and uh, of course click download the copy and then there's an option here click on download the copy and it should be downloaded to your local computer okay so that's it no need to pay for an expensive subscription with Microsoft Office 365 and make uh, make Bill Gates a little more richer. Uh, uh, but again, his uh, philanthropic word uh, works. It's uh, really awesome. But yeah, we are saving a lot of money right now since it's pandemic and inflation is way above the roof so yeah so first things first sign in with microsoft go to microsoft.com create an account if you didn't have an account create it first if you already have an account sign in and after that go to uh, outlook so go to outlook.live.com or outlook earlier you should show uh, outlook that office.com that should be uh, the correct website first and then after you log in you could click on the button here to show those applications for microsoft office or there's uh applications here already on the left navigation pane so yeah that's it bye mga boss